This is how a content train can bring you to a powerful, powerful close. Years ago, I met Marvis Frazier. Marvis fought Mike Tyson. He didn't last very long, about 20 seconds, but he got in the ring with Mike Tyson. So I was talking to Marvis, and I said, Marvis, do you have any family? And he said, yeah, I have three daughters. They're very beautiful. Marvis, a, a boy's a problem. And he says, no, boys are never a problem. And I said, well, why is that, Marvis? And Marvis said, well, when the boy comes, I, I welcome him into the house. I greet him at the door. I, I ask him if he's hungry. I, I show him around the house. I, I ask him about whether his plans are for university or for college or what he wants to do with the rest of his life. And then, you know, the young man often wants to know about my boxing career, so I give him the gloves that I fought Mike Tyson with, and I say, do you want to try them on? And the young man tries them on, he's very excited. And at the end, we walk over to the window, and I pull the blinds, the drapes by, and I show him my Bentley, and we talk all manners of things about that Bentley. We talk about tire profile and horsepower, and they're getting along fabulously, and then Marvis says, would it surprise you if I gave you the keys to this car and said, you can do anything you want with this car? And the young man says, yeah, yeah, that would surprise me. And Marvis says to him, I value my daughters 10,000 times more than I value this car. Do we understand each other? That's a powerful message at the end of a content train that packs a punch.